Marius de Vries, and I looked after the music uh, in its entirety on Teen Spirit, just sort of overseeing the recording and rehearsal and preparation processes, um, co-producing the soundtrack, working with Elle to get her performance into shape, working with the rest of the cast, um, and working with Max, the director, to make sure that he got what he wanted. Uh, Max was pretty clear-sighted in terms of the songs he wanted to use. There were one or two that we started to do and then uh, then replaced along the way, and that that was obviously a process of d discussion and, and debate as to how that would happen. But but um, they were written into the script, and Max was very responsible for the selection of the repertoire. You're an inexperienced performer with a Polish name, entering a competition that relies on the public vote. To try and answer how my previous experience prepared me for this and similar roles in film, um, as a years working as a record producer, that meant I was used to working with a wide variety of different types of singers and songwriters. And uh, I know a little bit about what it is to, to um, to be able to realize your potential as a singer. That gave me a little bit of useful perspective on the world that Max was trying to document in this, uh, in this film. We would like to offer Violet a contract, but you have to sign before the show or it's a no-go. This was definitely one of those occasions where we were grateful for, for strong direction and, and you know, Given that it was Max's first outing as a, as a director, it was really remarkable how, how clear he was about the sort of musical palette that he wanted to draw from and the musical tonality that he wanted to create. So he gave us, he gave us some very firm tracks to run the train down, and, and that was something which, which was really good because it meant we could spend more time looking after the process and less time sort of trying to make, make up the fundamentals of what was going on musically. That's the deal. The whole world of Teen Spirit stands or falls with Elle's performance mm -hmm. and, and it stands up extremely well. Uh, and meeting her at that early stage and getting to work through all of those months of preparation with her was one of the greatest um, and most inspiring parts of the process. She was really courageous because it was, you know, it was a big learning curve for her uh, and very exposing for for someone who hasn't really sung that much to to be so under the microscope when it came to her final performance. So the the journey of getting Elle from um, those first exploratory recording sessions ready for um, to go in front of the camera was really the defining journey of making the music for the film. Each actor who comes to you and needs to collaborate on the process of getting ready to, to shoot sung material has their own strengths, weaknesses, requirements and you know um, specifics that you have to attend to. I mean there's, there's obviously a process of getting the voice fit and, and um, the technique uh, improved and all of that sort of thing but always the biggest thing is, is is just trying to erode that division between acting and singing that that people tend to cling to when they have a little bit less experience um you know okay that's the end of my dialogue it's time to start singing now and, and just just trying to make that not a transition but but a, a flow that tends to be the biggest challenge and the most important thing to get right